What's up, Splitboarders? Will Ritter here, owner and lead designer at Spark R&D. Today I'm going to show you what's in my pack for an average day splitboarding in the backcountry. Alright, so this is all the stuff that's going in my pack. Beyond that, I obviously need my splitboard, my bindings, need my boots, my pants, my jacket, etc, etc. It's a lot of stuff to remember. I've got my sheet that I made up at home, which has all my different pieces of gear uh, and some creature comforts, etc. on it. And I've got this laminated list and when I'm packing up, I just go through and check off everything with a marker and uh, make sure I don't forget anything. So starting off on the touring side of things, got my pair of poles here. I wrap duct tape around them, um, again, in a spot where I can get them all the way compact and then wrap it just a little bit lower than that. A pair of skins, hard to go uphill without skins. Uh, shovel and probe standard gear. Beyond that, I have my, my transceivers on my person, not on my backpack, so um, don't ever leave the house without that, obviously. Uh, I always take a headlamp with me um, and a spare battery. This one's great because these batteries are rechargeable, so if you're doing a bunch of Dawn patrols, you won't be going through batteries like it's going out of style. I have my uh, InReach by Garmin, which this will allow me to call in search and rescue, similar to a spot device or a number of other um, devices that are on the market now. It's also a two-way satellite texting device, which, uh, you know, that's what I use it for mainly. I've never had to call in uh, search and rescue, so I will send a lot of messages throughout the day, check in with the home base. And, um, on the sun side of things, I like this stick-style sunblock. Uh, if you squish your backpack, it doesn't squirt all over the place. On the food side of things, I use these uh, collapsible soft flasks, and those go right into a sleeve on my backpack, so it's right here, and I can sip away hands-free while I'm touring. I do a 50-50 mix of uh, sports drink and some maple syrup, along with some electrolytes, and uh, yeah, it keeps me going going uh, all day long out there. Beyond that, I always have some gels as kind of a backup in my backpack, so if things go longer than I kind of planned on or run into somebody who's hungry or whatever, I got some options on that front. Spare set of goggles, a lot of times I'm out and things will either be going from sunrise to midday or midday to sunset or so on, and um, yeah, it, you know, usually start or end the day with the clear lens and midday need uh, a little more shade. These goggles are great because the lens um, pops out, pops forward a bit, so I'm able to tour all day long with these and they never fog up. On the tool side of things, I always have my spark tool in my backpack so I can adjust bindings, fix anything that might come up, tighten the screw down that's coming loose. Um, and then I've got my spare parts kit here. I've got a couple utility straps, um, some strap spare parts, Zip ties for fixing most anything. Kind of one of each screw. Extra batteries for a transceiver or other piece of gear that's running out. Um, and some skin wax if it happens to be that time of year where glopping might be an issue. Um, yeah, always good to leave with some parts and you can deal with something out there and not have your day cut short. Uh, more so on the clothing side of things, I've got a, um, yeah, I have a thinner puffy that I might actually skin in, but this is kind of my emergency puffy if I get stuck or somebody else does. So, you know, it's a nice um, down puffy that is, you know, good enough for ice climbers while they're on belay. But with the stuff sack, it's pretty small and you'll actually forget that it's in your pack. But just some security there if you end up being stopped for a long time out there. And uh, also, I'm usually wearing gloves when I'm out there, but here and there, uh, that's not warm enough for me, so usually I have the mittens in there too. So beyond what's in my backpack, I also have my duffel that comes with me in the truck. Um, and this has all my deep cut gear in it. Um, I've got extra layers in case it's colder than I thought it was gonna be when I show up at the trailhead. I have like my really warm mittens in there. If it turns into a big group ride, I've got my radios so everyone can be in touch and stick together. I have, um, all sorts of spare parts and extra tools. Like I have a skin trimming tool in case I see someone that needs help on that front. I've got my puck guides. I've switched a board from goofy to regular. 
in a parking lot and so on. So there's been a number of times that something in here, you know, it might mean returning to the truck to get something sorted out for you or a partner, but then you can get back out there and, and keep enjoying the day. All right, so that's everything that's in my pack on a normal day out there. I definitely take my time packing up and encourage you to do the same. Don't let a uh, forgotten piece of gear uh, screw up your powder day. I definitely take my time. Uh, it's also a great time to go through all your gear, make sure everything's looking good or all the screws tight, um, anything you need to mend, etc., before you get out there just to make sure you're having as much fun as possible. So yeah, that's my pack. Everyone's pack is a little bit different, but I hope that was interesting for you. And thanks for tuning in today to check this out. We'll see you on the skin track.